beware of blasphemers. Touch not my anointed, and do my prophets no harm. What have you been hearing about others without confirmation? Don't just sit somewhere and hear this or that about others and come to a hasty conclusion. We live in a world where lies, deceit and falsehood reign. Watch out for fabricated lies coming from the lips of these and others. As you watch, find out the truth and let the truth set you free. What you are about to listen to may shock you. The Bible says, Touch not my anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Yet many today are on a dangerous mission, going about claiming to be men of God, whereas they are not. You are about to listen to the confession of a man who pretended to be the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, the general overseer of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, in order to collect money from unsuspecting individuals, both nationally and internationally. Let's listen to him. Uh, my name is uh, Steve. Sometimes in uh, March, we are in the uh, office office where we are doing a, a, a four online business and in the office there is a there was a number existing that you program the number and uh, it intercepts both local and international calls we are about uh, 12 of us i myself um chooks okonkwo uh, kenneth uh, okese uh, ben Ibudo, Lawrence Ono, Richard Ono, Paul, uh, Paul Okonkwo, um, Onyekim Esedo. The, the telephone interception was a number that it was existing during that period. When any number is now being found out, our group we start uh, d uh, distributing the number to each other. So um, you will now program the number on your telephone. There was a day one of us were able to intercept a call. And uh, the call was from uh, Japan. The man was to speak to Synagogue Church of All Nations, which we impersonated we impersonated that we are the synagogue church. We gave the man our number that as from henceforth that he should be calling that number, that the number is now direct number to the general overseer of synagogue. And the, after then, he started calling us on that number. We know that uh, the greeting of a uh, synagogue church is uh, a manual. Even why he called, in, you know, in order to make him believe us that we are the synagogue church, we now uh, ask him that whenever he call, that he should not, he should ask uh, for uh, this uh, greeting for us. That if not, that is uh, the that means that the call is a wrong place. I myself, I am used to speak to him as the general overseer of the synagogue. Uh, so many other people, including us, in the office, everybody was uh, given uh, a, 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 a part to play. Why I was choosing to play that part was because I was uh, believed to know how to uh, pray. After the man from uh, uh, Japan has uh, called us, now we now ask him that uh, we need uh, financial assistance. He now 
said uh, that there's no problem that any assistance you know that he can give to to us that is ready to do it. Um, we have we have been telling uh, Reverend so many things that we want to do this, we want to um, do a convention, we want to buy a land, uh, yeah, that he, uh, we need a car, which he has been sending so many money to us. I cannot even recount how many times he has sent uh, money. If I should come into total calculation, he has exceeded about $65,000. Okay, he's, does he sent this money through Western Union, through um, through uh, Vigo Money Transfer, and he, he sends, uh, there are some money he sent as well through um, accounts given to him by uh, Chooks. He really believed that he is dealing with the Synagogue Church of All Nations. See, and that was what that gave him the impression that whatever we ask from him, he doesn't. He does not insist. He does not. Uh, I mean, uh, argue it. Mr. Steve continues to give his confession of how he had impersonated the prophet for material gain. He and his group had set up a fraudulent business through which they were intercepting local and international calls meant for other people. One such phone call was from a man in Japan who thought he was calling the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Pretending to be the man of God, Mr. Steve succeeded in collecting over 65,000 US dollars from him. We are impersonating a, pro, uh, you know, a, 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 a prophet's uh, name. You see, we are impersonating his name, but um, all we have in our mind is that we are looking for money. When, when he... He now told him that if his people will be coming to Nigeria, he now said that we should go to airport and uh, arrange uh, a car hire service, which will take them to a hotel. So then he now decided to go and see them so as to collect some money from them. We have used money to even forget the, you see, the person you know, we are destroying his name. I mean, Prophet uh, T.B. Joshua. Okay, so far, how much has gone into your pocket? In fact, I cannot uh, just give detail because this morning, if I should come into total calculation, it has exceeded about $65,000. But he has sent all, uh, uh, you know, all, the, uh, uh, all along. Uh, it's more than that. He has exceeded more than $65,000. Wow, can you imagine such a huge sum of money? The man, unaware of the deed, believed he was sowing seed into the ministry of Prophet T.B. Joshua and was happy to reply to every request for money put forth by Mr. Steve. They even went so far as inviting the Japanese man to Lagos, putting him up in a hotel, and collecting even more money from him. Even he has sent a good uh, rest, uh, rest, uh, gift item uh, wristwatch D through DHL. Uh, it was a uh, five because I was uh, I was given one because I played a prominent role there. Don't you fear God using the name of God? You are doing such a kind of thing like this. It's terrifying. We have to ask for God's intervention because this thing has pervaded the whole country and it has tarnished the image of Nigerians. I have come, you see, please, please. I want to ask for that forgiveness first. Mr. Steve was just one of many who have tried to strip the outward prestige and beauty of Prophet T.B. Joshua's ministry, but he could not take away the wisdom and the grace of God from the life of the Prophet. Glory be to God. Mm -hmm.